Okay, first off, and I just want to get this out of the way, I'm not playing Mahjong for the anime waifus, okay? Mahjong Soul is not a game about anime waifus. Just take a look at their official ad. Okay, there are some anime waifus in the game. Okay, real talk. I love Richie Mahjong, and let me tell you why. We've just met, but I'm sure you can tell. I've got low self-esteem. But sometimes in Mahjong, you get dealt a hand that's so risky, but so valuable that you just have to try and go for it. Sometimes you have to decide, regardless of how scary it is dealing into another person's hand, you just have to believe in yourself and fight for a chance to win. And sometimes you lose, but it's still really fun when you can play like that without regrets. So I wanted to make a tutorial for the very basics of Richie Mahjong before I started making YouTube videos on it and to try to explain to you and my Twitch audience the rules of the game. So how am I gonna teach this incredibly thrilling, exciting game? PowerPoint. It's PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. So, you can play Richie Mahjong or Japanese Mahjong on all sorts of different clients, but I mostly play on Mahjong Soul, which is available for free in web browsers, iOS, or Android. Again, it's totally free. You can pay for characters and cosmetics, but those are totally optional. Okay, let's start by explaining all the tiles. These images are coming from the tutorial in the game, which I really suggest doing before you start playing. Uh, first of all, there are three suits, and for the sake of simplicity, let's do this all in English. So the first suit is called character tiles, named after the character on each of them. The second suit is circles, and the third suit is bamboo. And each suit has tiles numbered one through nine. There are also honor tiles, which don't really have a suit. And so these are gonna be the four winds, east, south, west, and north, and the three dragons, the white dragon, the green dragon, and the red dragon. In any game of Mahjong, there will be four copies of each tile for a total of 136 tiles. If you were playing Mahjong in real life, uh, the tiles would be arranged like this, with one player on each side of the table. But this wall structure is hidden in Mahjong Soul. So once you start playing online, it's mostly going to look like this. So how does the game basically work? So at the start, everyone takes turns drawing tiles from the wall until you have a hand of 13 tiles. Then each turn, you draw a tile and discard a tile. That's the basic gameplay loop, and so now let's talk about what winning looks like. In order to talk about winning, first we're gonna need to understand pairs. It's two of the same tile. If you needed help on this, you might be a League of Legends player, and uh, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors in life. Uh, but this is, this is a pair. This is what a pair looks like. It's two of the same tile. Triplets and sequences are next, and uh, triplets are pretty self-explanatory, but sequences are a little trickier. Um, sequences are a series of three consecutive tiles from the same suit. Uh, in this case, you have three, four, five of the circle suit, seven, eight, nine of the character suit, and five, six, seven of the bamboo suit. Um, and also, since nine is the highest of any suit, we can't go above that. Like, a sequence can't be eight, nine, one. If we can combine those concepts together, we can win. So, in order to win, you need four sequences or triplets and one pair. Uh, the wording for four sequences or triplets can be a little confusing, so let me explain. You can have any combination of those. For example, a winning hand could be two sequences and two triplets. Uh, another winning hand could have four sequences and no triplets. Um, but in both of those examples, you still need a pair uh, in order to complete your winning hand. Okay. Great, so the tutorial has some like little test questions uh, to see if you're following. So let's try to answer this together. So which tile does the hand need for winning? Uh, let's take a look at it. So first off, we got a pair, it seems, of the two of characters. That seems pretty good. That seems like we've got our pair taken care of. Now, if we look to the right, we have the four, the five, and the six of characters, okay. That seems like a sequence to me. That seems pretty good. Okay, we got a three of circles and a four of circles here. It's not enough for a sequence, so this is looking kind of sus. Okay, let's come back to this. And then we got the one, two, and three of bamboo. Okay, that seems like a good sequence. And five, six, seven of bamboo. That seems like a great sequence. So in total, we have our pair. We have one sequence, two sequences, three sequences, and we need to finish this one. So what do we need to win? Well, it's gonna be the two of circles. That's the tile that we need to finish this hand. And just in case, let's do another one. Which tile does the hand need for winning? Uh, okay, this one's a little trickier, so let's let's go through it. So this is the one, two, three of circles. Okay, that's one sequence. Four, five, six of circles. Okay, that's another sequence. 
Seven, eight, nine of circles. Okay, that's another sequence. And we have a triplet of the one of bamboo. So, I mean, this is a little tricky here, right? Because we, you'll notice that we don't have our pair yet. So how are we gonna break this hand down so that we have four sequences or triplets and one pair? Hmm. Okay, well the two, the, the two of circles isn't gonna help us. The three of bamboo, now that's interesting. So if we add this three of bamboo, we would now have a pair of the one of bamboo and a completed sequence one, two, three of bamboo. And in fact, it is the three of bamboo that we need to win. So let's talk about strategies that we can use to complete our hands, uh, because it'd be kind of boring if all we could do was draw and discard tiles. So anytime you have a pair, in this case, it's gonna be the nine of characters and someone at the table discards another copy of that tile, in this case, the nine of characters, you can call pon or pawn if you wanna really anglicize it. And then you reveal the two that you have and then take their tile to complete your triplet set. And don't worry, we'll show an example of this later when we play a game. Next, let's talk about chi, which is how we can complete sequences. So in this example, we have the six of circles and the eight of circles, and the player to our left has discarded the seven of circles, which is exactly what we need. So we can chi their tile, reveal our six and eight, and use their seven to complete a sequence. Again, we will show an example of this later, um, but be careful. You can only chi to complete a sequence and only when the player on your left discards the tile you need, not the player across from you or the player on your right. Uh, Yusung, is any of this gonna be on the prelim? Yes, it's gonna be on the prelim. Quiz time. Which of the following hands can chi the six of bamboo from the last player? Again, this is only gonna be the player to your left. Okay, so chi means we're completing a sequence here. And so this one's starting to look good. The four, five, six, okay, that completes a sequence, but hang on. Five, six, seven also completes a sequence, and six, seven, eight also completes a sequence. But then we remember that a sequence has to be all the same suit. And so the answer is gonna be A, the four, five, and six of bamboo. Okay, this is a little trickier because we haven't really talked about honor tiles that much, but we've talked about pong. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Which of the following hands can pawn the west wind from another player? Okay, so if we're talking about pawn, we're talking about completing a triplet set. And so the only one that's a triplet set here is C. And that's the correct answer. We need to complete a triplet set, baby. All right, next topic. And you should probably sit down for a moment because this is a doozy, okay? I've kind of been lying to you. Not really like I'm trying to sell you an NFT or anything, but just lightly, okay? Just doling out concepts one by one. Not only do you need four sequences or triplets plus a pair to win, you also need a Yaku. So think of Yaku as defined as a win condition. And so if you know poker, um, you'll be familiar with terms like four of a kind, full house or straight, and that's kind of similar to Yaku. So Let's take a look at some of the easy win conditions first. Okay, simple Yaku. If you have triplets of any of the dragon tiles, you've gotten a Yaku. You've satisfied a win condition, so as long as you complete the rest of your hand, as in assemble four sequences or triplets and a pair, you can win. Prevalent wind and seat wind are a little bit different. So the middle of the table will show what round you're in. And if you have triplets of that wind, you have a Yaku. So on the screen here, it says East two. So we're in the East wind round. And so if we have triplets of the East wind, that's a Yaku. We've satisfied a wind condition. Um, the seat wind is uh, based on what seat you're sitting in. So in this case, we're sitting in the west seat, denoted by this W here. So if we have triplets of the west wind, we've satisfied a Yaku and we have our win condition. Another easy Yaku is Tanya or all simples. I like to call this one all simps, like the Twitter replies of any famous streamer. Okay, so in order to achieve this Yaku, your hand must not have any ones, nines, or honor tiles. So that's any of these tiles in the bottom half of the screen. And the good thing about all simps is that like, if you're just starting out, I recommend just trying to get all simps every time. Like no matter what your starting hand is, just go for all simps every time because it's an easy way to be able to satisfy a win condition and you'll learn the mechanics of the game uh, while doing it. Okay, which of the following sequences is a Yaku? 
So we got to take a look at this, okay? Because it's wind tiles, okay? It's honor tiles. It's a little tricky. Okay, first, let's take a look at the round because maybe that'll give us some insight. So it's the East one round right now. So the East is looking pretty good as the prevalent wind. Let's not get too hasty. Let's also examine our seat. Okay, we're also sitting in the East seat. So this is looking great for us right now because this is the seat wind and the prevalent wind. And in fact, A is going to be the correct answer for this one. Okay, next question. Which of these tiles should you discard if you want to achieve Tanyao, aka all simps? And so let me remind you real quick. If you want all simps, you can't have any ones, nines, or honor tiles. And those are going to be the wind tiles or the dragon tiles. So let's look for those. Okay, pair twos, those seem great. Four, five, six of characters, that seems great. Three, four, that seems great. One, two, three, excuse me, in this economy, excuse me. Okay, that's a little sus. Five, six, seven, you're doing just fine. So the only sus tile that you have in here is the one that you want to discard, and that's going to be the one of bamboo if you want to achieve all simps. All right, let's talk about the Yaku that's in the name of Richi Mahjong Richi, aka the one that makes you feel like an anime protagonist. So if you've gone the whole game without calling Chi or Palm or Khan, and I know we didn't cover it today, but for all intents and purposes, we can treat a set of four like a set of three for now. Anyway, if you haven't called Chi or Palm, you can declare Richie. And in order to do this, you have to be one tile away from having a winning hand. So in this case, this hand is almost complete. All we need to finish it is either a two of circles or a five of circles. So when this happens, you discard a tile sideways, very anime, very cool, which basically tells everyone, hey, I'm one tile away from winning, so be careful. And then you win if anyone deals the remaining tile you need, in this case, the two or five of circles again, or if you draw it yourself on your turn. That sounds great, right? Okay, but the only downside is once you call Richie, on your turn, you draw a tile. And if it's not the tile that you need, you have to discard it, no matter how valuable it is. Uh, we'll also cover Richie in our example game, so hold tight. Lastly, there's a whole list of Yaku in Mahjong Soul itself. So let's go over some of the more likely ones that you're going to encounter, especially if you're just starting out. In this case, we want to look at pure straight. So win a hand with a complete sequence of one through nine. And this is going to be all of the same suit, obviously. And in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all of the character suit. And so that's a win condition in and of itself. Uh, this next one's a little less common. It's the mixed triple sequence. So win a hand with three sequences with the same numbers out of three different number tiles. Okay, that's very confusing. Basically, you want the same sequence in all three suits. In this case, we have one, two, three in characters, one, two, three in circles, and one, two, three in bamboo. And in that sense, we've satisfied this Yaku, again, which is called mixed triple sequence. So another one that I want to cover is Pinfu. So win a hand with four sequences and one non-Yakuhai pair, plus the potential winning tiles must be tiles from both sides of a sequence. Again, very confusing. So what does this essentially boil down to? Okay, Pinfu means you need four sequences. No triplets in this one, okay? And in order to win, you have to be on a double-sided weight. Now, what does that mean? In this hand, we're waiting on the five of bamboo or the eight of bamboo to complete it. Now, we can't have a single-sided weight. Like, for example, if we had the one and two of characters and we were just waiting on the three, that doesn't satisfy Pinfu. So again, to summarize, you need four sequences, one pair, and you have to be waiting on two tiles in order to complete your hand. Men's a chin only. Let's talk about this. So that sounds like the name of a character you'd get a blessing from, an Elden Ring, but all it means is that you can't have called Pwn or Chi that game. All right, we're almost done. Another one that I want to look at is Half Flush. So how do you do this? You win a hand with tiles from only one of the three number tiles. Again, that's very confusing. Basically, you can only have one suit of tiles, and then you can finish the rest of your hand with honor tiles, however you'd like. So in this case, we only have tiles in the character suit, and like the non-suited tiles, aka the winds and the dragons. So this is a very, very common hand that you're gonna see. Maybe not so much at the beginner levels. I don't know, I haven't been there in a while. No, just kidding. I, I honestly don't know. The level of play could have gone way up, but you're gonna see it, I feel like at all levels of play. This one is really, really common. Um, and the last one is full flush. So the full flush, you need to win a hand with only one suit. And this is way hard, but it's very, very valuable. You can see how valuable each Yaku is by 
by how many han it gives you, which is, again, the scoring, and we're not gonna cover that today because uh, I just wanted to let you know the basics of the game. And so this one's really valuable, and you have to win with entirely one suit. No wins, no dragons, just one suit. So obviously you can do this with a character suit, as depicted here, or you can do it with the circle suit or the bamboo suit. Okay, let's do an example game. So this screen is what you're gonna see, basically, uh, when you log in and create an account. It's Mahjong Soul for the first time, and let me show you how to set up a game versus AI at first so you don't have to jump into ranked match immediately. So. Let's click on friendly match here. You're gonna wanna create create room. And now you're gonna wanna make sure that it's four player versus AI. Thinking time, you're gonna wanna crank that up to 300. You probably won't need 300 seconds to make your every move, but it's better to have all the time in the world. And these advanced settings, you can just leave it on disable. So then you click create, and now you just basically uh, press start. Wholesome husbandos and waifus shown. All right, let's get into it. Great, great starting position. Let's talk about what we're seeing here, okay? So first off, we're in the East one round. This is our starting hand, and uh, we're sitting in the South seat. Okay, so this South wind is looking a little interesting. But you know what I think we should do? I think we should go for all simps. That's the way my father did it. That's the way my father's father did it. So in order to go for all simps, what do we need to do? Okay, we need to discard ones, nines, and um, all these honor tiles. So it's not great that we have a lot of them, obviously, but let's start by, by cutting some of them. And you'll see that every player on their turn, it goes a little fast, but they basically draw a tile like we have here, and then they choose a tile from their hand to discard. So um, you know what? In the spirit of all simps, may we discard all our honor tiles and we draw good tiles. Wow! Okay, so this is awesome. This is really cool. So why do we have the option to chi here, right? Okay, we have the four and six of circles, and they've discarded the five of circles. So the player on our left has discarded exactly what we need, and in this case, we can call it chi here. So you know what? To showcase how we do it, let's call it chi your character pops up and then you reveal your characters now everyone at the table can see this and you'll be able to see when other players call pull or chi as well um and you know what all simps baby all simps ride or die all right south wind you hate to see it you absolutely hate to see it but we're going for all simps here now, in real Mahjong, you don't want to necessarily be tunnel visioned on a specific Yaku. Like, you want to kind of like go with the flow and see what tiles you're dealt and uh, make a decision based off of that. Let's evaluate the decision we have here. So why can we call it Chi? Why is it giving us the option to? Well, because the player on our left has discarded the three of circles and we have the one and two. So you're thinking, great, right? One step closer to making a complete hand. Watch out, because we're trying to go for a Tanya. And so if we chi this tile, we'll basically be locking in a sequence of one, two, and three. Because once you call pawn or chi, you can't touch those tiles anymore. They're, they're basically locked into your hand. And the only reason we don't want to do this is because we don't want to com complete our hand with a one. You know, we're going for all simps here, okay? So don't try to tempt me with this three of circles nonsense. We're going to call skip here. Great. Awesome. Drawing another bamboo tile. Let's let's keep cutting our honors. Let's do it. All right. Some some standard discards. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The player on our left is just feeding us delicious tiles, okay? So, they've discarded a 5 of bamboo. So, we have 5 6 6 7 of bamboo. You want to know why I'm thinking, "Hey, Let's be a little bad. Let's let's chi this, okay? Let's let's get some brunch with a mimosa, okay? Um, it's because if we chi this, like we're gonna do here, we we finish our sequence of five, six, and seven, right? And we still have five, six. So if this player discards a four or a seven, we can still make a sequence just like that. So all simps, we're tunneling. Let's cut this red dragon. All right, pretty standard discards. You know what? I see a one. No, that don't impress me much. We're going for all simps here. We're going to cut it. Wow, seven. Okay, that's new. That's new. I'm kind of liking the look of that seven. So, you know what? In order to finish this hand, we're going to need to cut this one eventually. So let's do it now because we can't have ones, nines, or any of these honor tiles. Four. Ooh, okay, this is looking great. 
this is looking great because that goes right next to our three of characters so now we can make another sequence based off of that and we're one step closer to finishing our hand and wait look at this we even have a pair of the seven of characters this is looking phenomenal let's cut this two of circles for now and basically we're trying to oh wow okay this is can you are you feeling it mr krabs okay this is what mahjong is all about i didn't even know the ai could do this the ai just called richie want to know why we know this it's because you heard their character say richie and also they tossed a tile sideways like this all cool like right so they're one tile away from winning we've got to be very very careful here okay um we don't want to we don't want to necessarily drop the tile that they're waiting for but you know are we able to glean what they're waiting for from their discards we're probably not there yet we're probably not there yet so you know what for the sake of it now because this is just an ai game let's throw caution to the wind and just keep playing to complete our hand now you're looking at this right you're you're thinking five six seven could be a sequence you got this five and this seven of circles as well what why would you want to keep the five and six of bamboo over this five and seven well it's because in order to finish this sequence sequence we have two weights we can either finish it with a four of bamboo or a seven of bamboo in order to finish this potential sequence we would just need the six of circles so that's one tile versus two tiles let's do this to to broaden our chances okay wow bad luck okay that's just gonna happen sometimes you discard a tile and then you draw another tile right after it but you know what the good thing about this is so once a player has declared Richie, they can't win off of any of the tiles that they've discarded before so any of the tiles they've discarded prior to calling Richie, those are safe discards and now we know that because one five of circles was safe to discard the other one is also going to be safe because they didn't win on that the first time you know what i mean and again i know that if you if you're very experienced in mahjong some of these discards might look a little weird but we're, we're just gonna learn the basics right now um so let's keep cutting and let's keep aiming uh to win with the sequences that we have wow what great luck okay so why is this great luck well we just drew the tile that we needed to complete this five six seven sequence and so now we're one tile away from winning and we can see that if we were to discard the seven of circles which we are a hundred percent doing we can win if someone deals the two of characters or the five of characters of course we could always draw this tile ourselves too which would be dope okay so let's discard the seven and see if someone uh see if someone discards the two or five now we could chi here but we already have a sequence so i'm gonna skip this one this seems a little needless wow okay so why is this exciting well we have some options now right so instead of using the seven of characters as our pair we can use them as our triplet instead um and so if we were to use it as a triplet uh we need a pair to complete right so in that sense we could discard this four of characters and rely on getting another three of characters as our pair or vice versa right we could discard the three of characters and wait on getting another four of characters as our pair However, we also have the option to just drop the seven of characters and continue on the wait that we were waiting on, which is the two and the five. And you know what? I like that because it's waiting on two tiles, not just one in this case, right? So let's drop the seven of characters and really hope that someone um, is able to deal a two or a five. So, okay, this tile doesn't help very much. Why am I really confident in discarding it? Well, this player discarded it and they're in Ricci. So we know that they can't win off of it. So this is a 100% a safe discard. Not 100%. Someone else could, at the table could win, but let's not get there yet. Um, okay, please. Oh my God, please. It would be so cool if I could win a game in my Mahjong tutorial. Why am I getting a little nervous? It's because this number here shows you how many tiles are remaining in the wall. So once we get down to zero, that round is over. Like we'll redeal and start a new round. Um... But we want to win before that, right? So, okay, we can drop this five. Five tiles left, please. Please, it'd be really cool. I don't know how to do editing magic to make it seem like I won this one, okay? So, we're going to skip this chi because it's kind of unneeded. Going to drop this eight of, uh, eight of circles. Wow! Okay, there is... The, oh, this is... Oh, my God. I love Mahjong, baby. Okay, so zero characters left in the wall, right? 
the last turn. They have dealt the two of characters, which we needed. So let's press this roam button and win, MFR. Okay. And now we can see all the Yaku that we've achieved. Under the river is just a uh, it's just a cherry on top. Under the river means you win on the very last possible turn, um, which is cool. Uh, but we had all simps, and that's what we were going for. Okay, so now it's the new round. It's still the east round. Uh, we're sitting in the east seat now. Let's go for a Richie hand, okay? So what do we need for Richie? Well, we can't call Chi or Paul, unfortunately. So we kind of have to just play with ourselves phrasing for a little while here, okay? Um... I'm just gonna cut some of these honor tiles to begin with because like honor tiles you can only make triplets of them right you can't make um sequences uh there's no like northeast south sequence or anything like that so let's cut these first and um our hand is in decent shape it's not great but that's a nice draw that's a nice draw okay what do i want to do here so we just want to uh, assemble a winning hand as fast as possible and i'm only in the expert rank okay so if you're looking for someone to teach you how to play the most efficiently uh maybe someone else could uh, do that i i don't think i can play like 100 percent hyper efficiently always however there's not a lot of english speaking content creators making mahjong videos which is why i wanted to do mine um let's cut this one of circles for now why we could have made a one two three sequence right well we can still do that with a two three four sequence and then we can do four five six um so it kind of leaves our options still uh open um okay red dragons being discarded let's discard this uh west wind it's not that useful to us mm, wow okay what great luck a four five six sequence has been completed what do we want to do now you know what I know we could fish for a seven, eight, nine, but we're gonna need to finish a sequence uh, sooner or later, right? So let's let's take apart this one and try to finish our other ones. Now we could chi here, but keep in mind if you want to call Richie, you can't chi or pull. So unfortunately, we have to skip here. Three, four. Okay, so you're gonna see this situation a lot, and this is a great moment. So ignore the fact that the one is shiny. Anytime that you see a shiny uh, tile, it means that that tile is extra valuable this round um let's pretend for the sake of education that it's not shiny okay uh so what can we do here to improve our hand well this one and the three we're just waiting on the two of characters right however if we were to discard this one which we're gonna do and keep the three and the four now our hand is improved because we're still waiting on that two but now we're also waiting on the five right it, it improves the number of tiles that we can wait on in order to complete our hand now this is unfortunate if we had kept that nine we would have seven eight nine right now and i'd be laughing i'd be i'd be smiling there might be a tear in my eye okay but unfortunately we discarded it so let's not um you know let's not get into the sunk cost fallacy or whatever and let's just keep tearing this apart so this this is a beautiful hand this is a gorgeous hand why because we just drew the six of bamboo so we have four five six of bamboo and six uh, six seven eight so we have two sequences taken care of there let's take apart this seven um okay another one that's not great that's not great let's discard it for now we could pull in here but again we're going for Richie, so we're going to skip for now wow okay so this is interesting right so in a real game you could chi here you could finish your uh two three four sequence and look at that our hand is in a great shape for all simps right but we're not gonna do that for the sake of trying to show you what Richie is like um oh you beat me to it easy ai you beat me to it so this ai called Richie um so what does that mean they're one tile away from winning obviously we don't want to give them that winning tile uh, but all the tiles that they've discarded so far are safe to discard now this nine is not safe uh but generally ones and nines are are safer to discard like for example if they're going for all simps they, they won't want a one or a nine east wind they've discarded before they can't be waiting on it um another three. Oh man i'm looking at the one that got away right now so this is interesting right this five seems like a good tile um just fives generally seem good because four five six three four five five six seven but we already have two completed sequences here so it's not helping that much plus we know that it's a safe discard so let's get rid of it okay okay 
Red Dragon not helping that much. Oh, man. So this might be a round where I don't even get into Richie. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Because hopefully in a future round, we'll be able to do it. Whoa, baby. Okay. What incredible luck. What incredible luck. Okay. So we might not win this round. But at least I can show you what going into Richie is like. So, uh... Why are we doing this? Well, because we're one tile away from winning now. We have one sequence, two sequences, three sequences. And now with this, we have four sequences. So all we need is a pair, right? So I'm going to call Richie, discard one of these tiles in a very cool, very anime way by sliding it sideways. And now it shows everyone, hey, we're one tile away from winning. If anyone drops the four of characters, we can win. But are you seeing what my character just did? We drew a two of characters, and then we had to discard it immediately because we were in Richie. We now no longer have agency over which tile we choose to discard. And so that round just ended. We drew up the entire deck, and no one won. Some points are being paid out because we were in Richie, so we're, uh, we were one tile away from winning. Um, and that's probably a lesson, uh, for a later day. So the match just ended in, in a real ranked game. Uh, it's going to last longer than that. You'll usually play at least four rounds if you're doing the East selection or at least eight rounds if you're playing the South selection. Okay. So that was pretty quick, but hopefully I showed you some of the basic mechanics of Mahjong and, and don't worry, like you're definitely going to need more than two rounds in order to, uh, learn the game. Obviously, like... It's easy to learn, but really exciting and hard to, to master. So I'll be posting uh, more Mahjong videos to this channel, obviously. I hope you stick around. If you do, uh, you can click the like button and the subscribe button if you want to help. Um, you can also watch me play this on live on Twitch and ask me questions there, in which case I will be happy to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So thank you for watching my very, very basic tutorial on Richie Mahjong. Uh, please let me know if you want a more uh, extensive tutorial on some of the more uh, trickier subjects or more complicated subjects. Um, I'd be happy to do so. And uh, all my links are in the description. Good luck out there. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.